Hello everyone, welcome to Cheeky Leopard channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix critical process died blue screen error in your Windows 10 or 11 computer. Now if you are able to log into your desktop and you can see the desktop and use everything then what you have to do is just go to the search box and then type in reset and then click on reset this PC. Now from here under advanced startup click on restart now and you will land on this page but if you cannot log into your desktop or cannot use your computer then there is another way i will show you which you can use to come here and for that what you have to do is press the power key on your computer or on your laptop and as soon as you see the windows logo or the desktop you need to press and hold the power button until your computer shuts down and you need to do this process three times total and on the third time you will see something like this which is the startup repair option. Now from here what you have to do is click on see advanced repair options and then go to troubleshoot. From here click on advanced options and in here the first thing we are going to try is the startup repair. So just click on startup repair and give it some time windows will try to repair the startup and fix the problem for you but if you still get the blue screen error after using the startup repair option what you have to do is come here again and then this time click on the command prompt option and then select your account if you are using a microsoft account then this will show up so just click on your account and then type in your microsoft account password if you do not have a microsoft account this will not show and then click on continue now in here we have to type in some commands so the first command that we are going to type in is boot rec space forward slash fixmbr and then press enter from your keyboard after that type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot and then press enter from your keyboard if you see that access is denied it's fine move on to the next one and this time we are going to type in boot sect space forward slash nt 60 sys and then press enter and after that type in boot track space forward slash fix boot and then press enter now type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild and then press enter and then type in sfc space forward slash scan now and this will take some time so once you press enter the scanning process will take some time so just hang in there and once complete the last thing you need to type is chk dsk space c then colon and then press enter and this will take some time as well so just hang in there and once it is finished just close the command prompt window and then click on continue from here and now the windows will restart after that hopefully you will be able to log into your computer and the blue screen error will be fixed I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.